All right, first time in on shape, and we're going to figure it out. So I've got a bunch of stuff here, but you don't. These are my latest parts I've been working on. Here's some folders I've made, some documents, the latest documents down there as well. So to make something, though, we got to make a folder, maybe, for your class, and then you'd start making documents. Here's uh, drafting one, and then we're going to be working on part 11 there. So you would go create documents and say part 11 but i've already made it so i'm just going to click on it you go ahead and make part 11. the workspace what are we looking at we've got tools at the top we've got this browser we call it over here and the one thing cool about this browser we can take a look at how this thing was made there's a rollback bar and you'll say the first thing that i made was a sketch Okay. If I double click on that sketch, it'll pull up the dimensions that I used for it. Right? And then I can still go back and change these if I wanted to. Right? So we can roll back and make design changes later on if we wanted to. Uh, after I made that sketch, click off of that, we made an extrude. There. So I got an extrude and we gave it some thickness. We extruded it out. Then, what did I do next? I think I drew the next part. We're not going to do that in this order on the tutorial. And it's invisible right now. So I've got two parts down here, but the visibility is off on the second part. So we're going to do it a little different when you go through, but I just made that part right there. And then I went back and made some holes on this thing, I believe. Yep. And then what did I do next? I did a sketch and then I cut out another hole out there on the edge. And then I mirrored this part, so this part with that hole to the other side, and I joined them together, so I have one part. I knew it was a symmetric part, so I was able to do that. And then I cut one last hole in here. And there we are. There's our browser and how I made that part. The uh, part list is shown over here. You can rename these ones if you want. Uh, and copy, paste it, maybe make some edits on the second one. Our part studio is down here. This is our assembly. We'll be talking about this later. Um, but this one actually sh shows interaction between parts. And then I'll go back to my part studio. Then we've got our view cube here in the top right. Okay. So on our view cube, I've been doing all this. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But uh, we could just click around. Okay. And look at this object from different usually when i reset my default view i want to make sure that i'm looking at the top front and right so this is where i like to start okay so to zoom in and out i've got my mouse wheel zoom in and out to pan i push in my middle mouse button and to rotate i hold down my right mouse button okay so we can look around this thing I think we've made it all the way around. Tools, browser, different parts, our different uh, design workspaces, uh, my uh, view cube up here, and then our navigation, the scroll wheel, middle mouse button, and right mouse button. So that's your intro. Good luck.